Last voice you heard was Snoop Dogg welcoming Quentin Byfield to the LA Kings. Oh. Damn, I think we're uh, we're at the age where it's not a ridiculous question to ask an 18 year old. Do you know who Snoop is? Quentin is joining us on the line. Oh, Quentin, are you on. familiar with Snoop Dogg? I'm, that's a serious question. Are you familiar? Yeah, no, no, of course I'm familiar with Snoop. Um, you know, he's definitely one of the top rappers. So, no, I've heard of him. And I um, you know him to send that message is uh, definitely something special to me. When when you get a shout out from a D O double G, like he's not just a dog D O G. Yeah. This is Snoop D O double G. Uh, he rack he rocks his his khakis with a cuff and a crease. Uh, Quinn, <laughs> what's the coolest text tweet shout out? Like is is Snoop? I know Magic Johnson also sent a tweet out welcoming you to L A. Like where 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 did you go? Holy bleep! I can't believe this just happened. Uh, probably the moment I saw both of those uh, tweets. Those are pretty. Um, unbelievable, you know, like you're having, um, you know, arguably one of the best basketball players of all time, give you a shout out. Like, um, you know, I'm surprised he even knew my name. So that was pretty cool. <laughs> um, you know, him walking in LA. So I, I think, uh, just looking at both those texts and tweets, uh, that was pretty insane. Were you annoyed Alex Trebek didn't announce your pick? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, it, it actually would be pretty cool. My, my almost a big fan of Jeopardy and I used to watch it with her, but I'm not. I'm not annoyed. I, I think Rob Blake did a great job, and I was happy with that. No doubt. No, but just so you know, because we we heard how the Senators had to, had to get that done with Alex Trebek. Alex Trebek. Somewhere the video exists of Alex Trebek saying your name going to the Ottawa Senators in case something happened draft night. Right? We never know. Things things happen all the time. So just so you know, technically it did happen. Uh, you were happy either way. You're going to Los <laughs> Angeles, kid. You're going to be fine. But just so you know, that video yeah. does exist somewhere. Uh, Quentin Byfield joining us. The second overall pick. From last week's very unique and hopefully the type of draft we never see again, NHL entry draft. Uh, Quinn, what was that like from your perspective? You know, it was great. Uh, you know, the room was loud, it seemed. Like you had enough family there to get to get a reaction. What, uh, what I, I know it wasn't perfect for any of you guys drafted, but what did it mean to you last week? Yeah, um, you know, I think it was something, it was something um, you know, super special. And, um, you know, even though, uh, you, you know, you can walk up on stage and, um, you know, shake the all the people's hands up there. It was still something really special, and you got to share that moment with your family. So, um, you know, I, I wouldn't change that day for the world. For the world, and um, you know, I've been working for that for my whole life. So, um, you know, I think it was still a really good day, and probably one of the best days of my life so far. So, um, you know, so far so good. Well, at least you didn't have to worry about walking down the stairs and tripping and anything like that because you just get up and hug the family. When you get to the <laughs> point to where you want to be. And I know it'll be Quinton Byfield when you get to the point where you want to be. But but is there a player whose game is similar that you think that's kind of what I'll look like? And for those who don't know, this is a six foot four, two hundred and fifteen pound kid. Like there's almost still room to grow. But where where do you think you see your game? Yeah, um, you know I'm a, I'm a big hockey fan. And watch hockey quite a bit. And, um, you know honestly, when I was growing up, I just I uh, really just tried putting my head down, work hard, and um, you know just kind of played my own style. But um, you know, just watching quite a bit of hockey and, um, you know, they're seeing a lot of people draw comparisons of me and, um, you know, of Kenny Malkin and Anze Kovatar. And, um, you know, those two guys are um, future Hall of Famers, you know, cup winners and, um, you know, just exceptional players. So just being compared to those guys is pretty insane. And, um, you know, I definitely see some similarities in that. So, I mean, I'll just go off that. Quinn, normally when someone like you gets drafted as high as you were drafted, it usually means the teams the team has some issues, and normally it's a younger team. I mean, I'm I'm looking at your new teammates here: Kopitar, Jeff Carter, Dustin Brown, Drew yeah. Doughty, Jonathan Quick. These, like, you talk about having been around the block. This is a very different type of situation for a, for an 18 year old like yourself. How excited are you to just pick the brains of these guys, who, and who most of them have rings? Yeah, no, I'm super excited. Um, you know, it's most of the core guys that are left from the Stanley Cup, um, you know, winning teams, um, you know, and uh, I think it'll be really good to finally meet them and start working out with them and, um, you know, to see how hard they compete and uh, what it takes to really win championships. So uh, I'm definitely excited to really pick their brains and, um, you know, just get down there in L.A. Quentin Byfield, second overall selection in the NHL draft, joining us here on Tim and Sid. And uh, we, we've talked a lot about the diversity in hockey over the last little while. And there have been 11 black players selected in the first round of the NHL draft in the in the past 14 years up until this year. Nobody had gone higher than fourth overall until you. 
What, what does it mean to you to be the highest selected black player in NHL history? Yeah, um, you know, I think it's something, uh, you know, really special. And, you know, a lot of NHL records can't be broken. And, um, you know, that's something, you know, I did. So, you know, definitely super excited for that milestone. And, I mean, I think there's a lot more hockey related milestones that, um, you know, I want to break as well. But, um, you know, just sticking to that, you know, I think it's something really good. And, um, you know, just spread awareness. And, um, you know, I think the NHL is really in, um, in a, going in a good direction about spreading awareness about diversity and, um, you know, being really accepting to, um, you know, there's a lot of different things. So, um, you know, right. I think I uh, just be kind of a spokesperson or something, um, you know, along the lines in the future would be definitely um, one of my goals. I grew up in a really multicultural neighborhood in, in Toronto, uh, Quentin. Do, do you feel a little bit of pressure to not only succeed, but to be a role model for those who in the past may have been uh, felt like they've been left behind by hockey? Um, you know, honestly, uh, I don't really feel too much pressure about, um, you know, too much things. I kind of, I'm a pretty easygoing guy, but, um, you know, just, I just kind of do, um, you know, kind of do what I do and, um, you know, just try to be a good, just be a good person in general. I think, um, you know, that'll, that'll just help being a good role model to, um, you know, there's people, um, you know, in the past or in the future right now. So, I mean, I kind of just go along with those. Just being a good human. Yeah. Yeah. Good human. Sorry, Tim, for, for me for jumping on you there. Uh, Quentin Byfield. Uh, sounds like a good young human here on Tim mm-hmm. and Sid. Went second overall mm-hmm. last week in the NHL entry draft. Um, I'm always curious, Quentin, what, and I'm sure a lot of second overall picks in any sport feel this way. How, how much extra drive does that give you that somebody thought there was someone better? Yeah. Um, you know, I think it definitely pushed me quite a bit. And, you know, um, you know, I, I went first overall in the OHL draft, and, um, you know, that was something super crazy, and I never thought of that when I was growing up. So, um, you know, I was happy with that. But, um, you know, it definitely gives you a little bit more drive and, um, you know, want to prove, prove everyone, um, you know, who doubted you or, you know, didn't select you, um, that you could have won that spot. And, um, you know, I think that will give me extra motivation this year. And, um, you know, I'm working out. That definitely drives me quite a bit now. Uh I, I look at the the size and I, you know, six four two fifteen. Is 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 that your playing weight or do you feel like you can add more to the frame and play? Yeah, I, I think I can definitely add a little bit more weight to my frame and still maintain like my speed and um, you know, agility and uh, you know, over the summer and for the long off season probably now like six or seven months, I've I put on uh, seven to ten pounds, so um, you know, I've gained a little bit of weight and um, you know, I still feel really good out there. Do they know what's next for you? Like uh, we were talking about the OHL and whether or not they're going to play a season and how tough that's going to be. Who knows about the AHL? Do you know what the next steps will be in this crazy time that we live in? Yeah. Uh, you probably have the same, um, you know, same idea as me. Honestly, right. I have no idea what, what's going to happen with my hockey career, um, you know, going forward from now, but I um, mean, you know, hopefully I can um, go to, go to the world juniors and represent my country again and, um, you know, go back to back for gold medals. So I'm excited to, you know, get doing that and, um, you know, just see what happens. Yeah. Let's hope that world juniors happens for a lot of reasons. Right. Yeah. Like, it means, uh, it would be great to see. It'd be great. To, it means we're maybe in a better spot anyway. Sorry. I'm diverting Quentin Byfield here. On Tim. <laughs> Those are questions, young man, you can't answer for me right now. So I'm not going to pose them to you. <laughs> um, two things, last two questions for me, uh, Timmy, uh, for Quentin one, how, how does a young man like you go condo shopping in LA during a pandemic? Like what's the plan <laughs> on that? Uh, two, <laughs> Two, does being drafted by the Kings automatically mean you got to wear a Dodgers hat and watch that game on Sportsnet tonight and root for the Dodgers? Are you automatically now a Dodgers fan? Yeah, I um, mean, you know, I'll start with your second question. I, I think so. I think I'm just a Dodgers fan for life now, honestly, and <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty happy to be that. But um, yeah, I, I wasn't too big into baseball growing up, but I mean, I watched the watched the Blue Jays quite a bit and won to a couple of their games. So, um, you know, hopefully when the world gets back to normal, I can catch a couple more of those games and, um, you know, become a true fan there. So, um, you know, I'll, I'll be tuning in tonight to watch that game for sure. And, um, you know, <laughs> I don't know about condo shopping. I think I'm going to have to stay with, uh, you know, someone a little bit older than me because um, I'm not too good of a cuck. So I'll probably need someone to help me do that. <laughs> awesome. Well, may- maybe it's uh, maybe it's the dad, Clinton. Um, we want to make sure that you say <laughs> hi to the OG for us, okay? Yeah, no, I will do for sure. He's probably <laughs> listening right now, so <laughs> give awesome. him a shout out. All right, so, so to the OG Clinton, uh, Quinton's dad. Are we are we on a first name? Hold on, Quinton. Are we on a first name basis with your dad? I feel a little uncomfortable. I was going. I want to say Mr. Yeah, Buff. No, are we good? No, I, I, 
Yeah, I know. I think he'd be honored for you guys to say his first <laughs> name, so that's good. All right, shout out Clinton. Uh, Clinton, you did uh, you did well. You did well, young man. A second overall pick. Listen, Quentin, we uh, you know who knows when this season is going to start. Who knows when you get to LA? All these things. Hopefully, there's a World Juniors where we can all kind of root you on. But uh, we appreciate you jumping on with us again. Congratulations to you, and not just you, your entire family and, yeah. and team. We all know it's a real team. It's a cliche, but it's a team effort to get someone like you in this position. A young man who's busted his ass. Second overall pick. Fantastic stuff, Quentin. And uh, let's talk again down the line. Take care, man. Yeah, thank you guys. Appreciate the time. Thank you.